Welcome to May. It's great. Yes. And so what we've done, we've we partnered with the Kaleo Foundation, and we want to give this to you. It's a bag that has all Crazy. kinds of goodies, snacks, and food in it. Got and it's a, a protein or a shake protein or a chai tea yeah. is in there. And an Olaf with m and Yeah. Oh, with she's excited. <laughs> we love m and we, we, we love, and that's what this bag is for, to let you know that we love you. And that you are yes. loved by God, and that this is for you to let you know that the sacrifices that you have made, the years you've had to teach me we'd have, Jim, the yes. time that you've had to be at the school, it is not unappreciated. That's what I got to do yesterday. I got to go to a school yesterday morning that's on the outskirts of the most crime riddled and gang riddled area in Midwest City to a population of teachers that I was told often feel left out or undervalued, and not just tell them, but I got to show them that they are loved and appreciated. And it brought tears to some of their eyes. Like maybe nobody from their community has told them that all year, but we told them that. We showed them that. And that's what we at Wickline Douglas United Methodist Church want to be about, about getting our butts out of the pews and into this broken world to show them this unconditional love that Jesus Christ first showed us. Who are we? We're a launch team that's starting a new church. We have a building, but we're not a building. We're a people. And we, while we worship together, our launch team comes together and worships together, worship will never be our main product. Our main product will be loving each other and the world around us radically the way that Jesus did. So if you're looking for a church where you can kind of be invisible and get away with it, or you can go on Sunday morning and just sit in a pew or a comfy chair and sing some songs or watch a band and listen to people tell you how you're supposed to interpret the Bible or, or what you're supposed to do with your life, we're not your church. But if you want to be a part of a community that isn't afraid to get their hands dirty, doing this work of loving others. If you want to be a part of a community that wants you to participate in worship, that wants to value what you have to bring to the table, man, you found your church. Don't look any further. Go to branchpastor.blog and click on the join link and get on the communications channel so you can be part of doing something brand new in Midwest City, in Oklahoma, really. You can be a part of starting a new church. And I don't care who you are. We don't care who you are. We don't care what mistakes you've made. We don't care uh, how much money you make or don't make. We don't care what color your skin is or how old you are or what gender you are, or even what gender preference you are. All we care about is you want to follow this guy's command to go love the world the way that he loved us. And if you want to do that, I will find a place for you in this church and you will be welcomed. So I hope to see you. I'm Pastor David. Always love. Bye-bye.